like a lot of people, you're really focused on data center, data center revenue when it comes to NVIDIA, kind of their core business, something we talk about all the time. So the estimate for this quarter, you have a bit of a different number than Street Account does, but the estimate for this quarter is 398% year-over-year growth. Last quarter, they had actual 409% growth, but a year ago in Q1, it was only 14%. Is this sustainable? I mean, if let's say they get 370, <laughs> is that a miss? I mean, these are incredible, incredible numbers. Absolutely incredible numbers. And I, I mean, we ran calculations back in December uh, based on visible alpha consensus, looking at a couple of years in an aggregate, we saw upward revisions of over $150 billion. That was back in December. I thought, wow, this is starting to look a little long in the tooth, maybe a little priced in. Then boom, this year, we've seen yet another $50 billion in upward revisions coming into the fold. And I think, you know, this is just, um, there's just so much investment in CapEx coming from the cloud service providers that is really driving this. Uh, you know, and I think the number to be based on visible alpha consensus for Q1 is $21.2 billion. And then looking ahead to Q2, 23.3 billion. Okay. So I think those those so, kind of numbers, you so know, are can, really If you don't mind, I'm going to bottom line it. It sounds like you think they might actually beat the estimate. Like you you think this is very possible. You think it's not only sustainable, but it's going to keep accelerating. It's I mean, it is just what we're seeing in the data. That's you know, I'm I'm just speaking the facts. That's kind of where <laughs> it's at. You know, like I said, we went from 150 billion to 200 billion in upward revisions. So okay. that, I mean, that's really the big question with the stock. Does do we see yet another 100 to 200 billion dollars in upward revisions over the next couple of years? Is that is that really what keeps this? You know, keeps okay. the momentum going in so the stock? Can I ask you a hypothetical? So let's say they they meet when it comes to data center, which is really largely what this company is judged on. What does that mean for the rest of the AI trade? What does that mean for the rest of the chip stocks? I mean, it's going to be, it's definitely a positive indicator, you know, and it, it definitely indicates that the infrastructure and move toward accelerated computing for, you know, laying the groundwork, the foundations for generative AI are positive. You know, it's, okay. it's moving in the right direction. All right. I'm going to switch gears with you. Um, we're talking about Microsoft and their new uh, AI PCs. Everybody's talking about AI PCs, a lot of excitement about them. I want to bounce something off of you as we're awaiting for the event to actually kick off today, even though we got the announcement yesterday. From Gartner, a lot of people are citing the Gartner stat that about 22% of PCs are going to be AI PCs this year. They also had this in that same release, and I want to get your take. The integration of AI into PCs is not expected to drive end-user spending beyond anticipated price increases. Business device buyers will demand compelling reasons to invest. So when we're talking about these AI PCs, this is a game changer for the enterprise business of Microsoft. Do you think it's more of a consumer story? I think it's an everything story really? um, because it, I think the, the PC maybe, maybe it's the PC's time to shine because we've been in such a mobile environment for mm. such a long time and the compute power that's needed to really um, both develop and run a lot of generative AI is it, okay. it just operates better on a laptop. And one of the things that I'm really looking for today and tomorrow is to see how Azure and ChatGPT4 Omni are going to essentially simplify developer workflows and enhance productivity. I think that's okay. that could potentially be a big story.